Hi, I'm Tim Altman, naturopath, respiratory therapist, mickle therapist. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to tell my story as to what inspired me to become a professional or a health professional working with a range of ailments, um, particularly specialising in chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, IBS, anxiety and depression. Um, many, many years ago, back in the late 80s, I, at the time I was training full time in a particular sport with an eye on going to the Olympic Games. I was also studying at university a science degree and I got into honours to do um, psychology and at the time and I was also working part time to you know look after myself at the time I developed what I didn't understand at the time but I developed what I now understand to be chronic fatigue syndrome and it progressively got worse over a period of five or six years but for the in those days very very little was known about it and it was extremely frustrating to go to multiple doctors. I'd had a lot of support from um, the government because of I was fairly highly ranked in the sport. So I was sent to umpteen doctors and umpteen doctors said there's nothing wrong. And clearly there was. So it was very frustrating and it was many years later that I had a doctor who actually spent time, took my case history and said, I know what's wrong with you. And I got a label. Of, that's all it is, is a, basically a label and then said, I can't help you, all that you need to do is rest. So I was fortunate about nine months later to um, start working with a practitioner who um, was a doctor and research biochemist in Russia and working as a naturopath out here. And he'd done a lot of research on natural medicines and natural medicine techniques. And within six months, I was completely better. Um, and then I started you know, getting back into living a normal life again, training again. Uh, I didn't bother uh, training to the same level, but I was certainly able to train as much as I wanted and work and do whatever I felt like. And um, I got known amongst the sporting world as a person who got rid of chronic fatigue. So I had a lot of people get in touch with me. Um, and then I would get them appointments with this practitioner. In the end, I became so fascinated that he referred me to a lot of reading to find out more about what he does. And I went to him and said, I want to do what you do. And he suggested I go back to uni for another four years and do a Bachelor of Health Science um, in naturopathy, which is what I, I did. And I've now been practicing as a naturopath for 16 years. I've Really, my mission over that period of time has been finding better ways uh, of treating these type of illnesses. I've worked in a lot of other areas like weight loss, um, optimal health, sports nutrition, respiratory therapy for asthma and headaches and migraines and snoring. Um, however, really I've specialised in chronic fatigue and fibromyalgia and other chronic illnesses like irritable bowel, anxiety and depression. And that has always led me, I always found, I found that a lot of traditional naturopathy methods struggle to get complete results. They may have got partial results and for a long time I got good results, but not always complete. So I was always on this mission to find better ways that to get the sort of results I had seen with the Russian practitioner. And I, fortunately, I, I was able to use a lot of the methods he had adopted, but not all of them. And that is what led me then down the track to looking at respiratory therapy, which I've found absolutely fantastic for those, medal those ailments and a, n a number of other ailments, as well as performance out outcomes. In the sport that I do, I found it terrific, and I've used it with other athletes for greater results. Um, and then I also bumped into mickle therapy and it's since I've been using that technique in combination with the respiratory therapy and my other nutritional work and naturopathic methods that I've been able to see in the last two and a half to three years several, several cases where I would say over 30, probably closer to 40 or more cases of those sort of illnesses where I've seen complete recoveries to the extent that I saw myself um, it's been an amazing little journey in the last few years and I really, uh, there's really no case that comes along that I don't feel confident that if we are able, if the client's able to persist and we're able to work together, that we don't see a, either a significant shift or a complete resolution. The sort of, the work that I've done to look at treating chronic illness has also then extended to my own little mission on looking at optimal health or the ideal health and so it's extended to how I live myself in terms of what I do from a health perspective but also how I live my life and creating balance 
and I found it's been absolutely fantastic for um, me being able to look at, you know, f- get to optimal health and feel fantastic, but also how to live life in balance and feel more stress free, feel more in balance, more free. Um, so it's been absolutely fantastic. It's also helped relationships. So, um, yeah, it's certainly been, most practitioners will have a story, and my story I was, was dri- basically driven from a need to get better or a desperation to get better because I, I don't know anyone with chronic fatigue syndrome or a chronic illness who is listening to this will understand the frustration that you feel, um, firstly, when people can't acknowledge, even acknowledge what's wrong, and secondly, when they can't help, you know, they, they may offer to help when they, you might get partial results, but you, you rarely ever see complete results. So it's been that mission to try and help other clients. It's also driven my own mission to explore the upper end of health, and it's been a great trip. So I certainly um, would love to, anyone who's listening, I would love to be able to work with you and help you out. I'm very confident that I can do so.